Our next guest opened a recent Trump rally with Lara Trump, and he got some serious backlash from Twitter because of it. Brandon Stracker is with us. He's the founder of the Walk Away campaign. Why don't you take me through it, Brandon? What happened? Well, I had the um, enormous honor and privilege of getting to open the Trump rally in Cincinnati, which was absolutely incredible. Atmosphere was amazing. And for me, it was particularly meaningful because two and a half years ago, I did not like President Trump whatsoever. Mm. I am now at the point where I love Donald Trump. I could not be more enthusiastic about President Trump. Well, this is not a confessional, but, <laughs> well, but, um, <laughs> but the point why is that. You tell me what happened. What ha you introduced her at a rally. What happened afterwards? Right. Well, so, but, but the point is it's all relevant because I am a gay man in America. And so for me, it's particularly meaningful to be able to have this conversation with minorities. This is why they're trying to suppress me. I opened the Trump rally. I tweeted about it on Twitter. They started removing my followers by the hundreds immediately when I started putting these videos out. And then the suppression immediately sort of came in there because I went from having two, three, four thousand retweets on my tweets to 50. That's 60. it. Oh, yeah. They cut you off. Basically. Immediately. Cut you out. Yeah. More to the point. Yeah. Was there any nastiness involved? I mean, to you, to you personally? Yeah, yes, of course. But I, I don't care about that. I mean, I understand that we just have to sort of push through that part of it. What's really, I think, troublesome is the difficulty with the reach, because with, I think, people like myself and other minorities that are standing up for President Trump and, and uh, debunking this narrative, they're trying to suppress us. They're trying to silence us to continue this narrative that people like us don't exist. Has it worked? Are you still silenced? Well, I'm not giving up. I would call that a flat out restriction on free speech and reach. It is, but I think we have to find ways around that in the meantime. So what I'm choosing to do is tell my followers, look, this is what I'm experiencing right now. You guys have to, to share these posts. You, you know, we have to create a network of conservatives who are just sharing each other's material so that this message gets spread. First of all, I just want to say how proud I am of Brandon. I'm so excited Thank that you. he has walked away and supports this president and proud of everything he's done. Thank you, Laura. You know, as to Joe Biden, what we say in the South is bless his heart. <laughs> what a pleasure. Laura Trump yeah. and Brandon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. We do appreciate it. One and all. Thank, Thank you. you.